What is good, YouTube? It is Jacob, or Auto Bike Life. Today, we are going to be doing some bike maintenance. So, we got the big ripper. We got our um, tools. We got some new parts. Got some brake cables and new brake pads. And we got bike wash. Muck off. Best stuff ever. Um, also, some muck off chain lube, and then we got some grease. Yeah, gonna flip the bike over. We are gonna take the cranks off. We're gonna wash everything before we do all that. Make sure everything's A1. These brakes are doo doo right now. We're gonna get them A1. And, uh, hope you enjoy the video, guys. Alright, so basically, grab a rag. And bike cleaner, you can also use soapy water. And the good thing about this, um, once you spray this on and leave it on for about, I want to say, five to ten minutes, it basically gets all the grime off. So you don't have to do as much scrubbing. So you just spray this all over the bike. I've been riding lately, the bike is pretty dirty. A clean bike is a happy bike, it's going to ride better. Go around the whole bike, scrub everything down. We're gonna grab our Allen keys and grease toothbrush to put the grease on. You're gonna need a 6mm undo pinch bolt. And there we are. That was very loose. Whoo! Shouldn't have been that loose. Make sure you put all your bolts in a safe spot so you don't lose anything. Put that there. Crank off. 15 with the extension. Gonna back the wheel off. So that's free. Take it off. Oh man. Wipe all the excess off. And don't use WD-40. Don't do that. It's not a grease. <laughs> it's a solvent. And it will actually just rust your stuff over time. Spray that on the outside. Clean this up as best as I can. The bottom bracket cup is actually loose. I should get a wrench and actually like tighten that down. Yeah, see? This is the exact reason why you should do maintenance on your bike. Because my bottom bracket is actually loose. It's tight. Yeah, this is sketchy, but this works. Definitely don't do this. Bring it to your local bike shop. <laughs> Make sure they get you right. Now, get your grease. And just kind of put that on. And then, you're going to grab your set of Allen keys and make sure this bolt is tight. Alright, there we are. We're gonna put this all back together. Put that like so. Clean this up a little bit. Grease that. The spline. Gonna grab the bolt. Spin it like this. Goes on. Pinch bolt. And there we are. Now I'm gonna clean up the freewheel. Use the bristles. I'm gonna put the chain back on. Make sure it spins freely. We're gonna flip the bike over. the new brakes on as you can see these brakes are literally about to fall apart like the cables done what you're gonna need a set of allen keys some cable cutters screwdriver your new brake pads new cable we are going to undo the barrel adjuster all the way out 
And then we're gonna find where it meets up. Line it up like this, put that there. Gonna undo the brakes. Put this over here on our little workbench. Put that on the ground, take this, line it up. It's out. I just rest it so you don't lose it. Then we're gonna take the other brakes, the other brake pads off. Those are stuck. I really clap these brakes. Jeez. Take those little washers and stuff off. Okay. Put that on the ground. Pretty cheap too. I think they're around twenty dollars. I get the uh, mountain pads. The dual compound, they have like the salmon and the uh, the normal one. I don't know, they're just better for all around use. Especially like when it's raining. And sometimes I ride my bike in the winter, so. They uh, get the job done. Very affordable. Good upgrade to uh, the stock pads, because the stock pads are not it. You're going to have three washers. Put the right side on the right side. <laughs> you know, pretty straightforward. Put those three washers on, get your nut, screw it back on, like so. You're going to line this up with the braking surface. And with V-brakes, you don't want to put them like this, because you will end up getting marks like this and actually dig into your tire. And you don't want to do that, because then you might not be riding, because you got a flat tire. Line it up as best as you can. I usually put it around there. So again, line it up. Allen key. Then hold the pad and screw the bolt. That's the best result on how to get these lined up. Now you're gonna get your brake pads. You're gonna press the brake in. I'm gonna line this up. See this? I'm gonna line that up. that like that. Make sure that's tight. I'm going to put this in the housing. If you have it, great. If you don't have it, you don't really need it, but uh, try flow. I think I have like a little bit left. This basically just makes the cable super smooth. Go like this. Down to the whole cable. Just makes your cable feel a whole lot better and smoother. Put it there. Spray a little bit in there. Now put that together. There we are. Make sure you thread this through. Like push it through. There should be like a little plastic piece there. Make sure you get extra bits of triflo in there. And put that through there. There goes all of the brake cables, just unweaving. Good stuff. <laughs> there we are. Push your knee against the brake arm. It helps you just push them in and get them right. This is why you have your screwdriver. Undo them, because I did have them on super, super tight. Just gonna unscrew that. One thing I did forget to mention is those little springs there. If you spin your wheel and it's hitting on either side, like mine's hitting on the left side, screw it in and then spin it again. And then, you know, basically just adjust these accordingly. The brakes should be working uh, perfectly. They shouldn't be hitting the um, braking surface. I usually leave it a little bit longer. All right, you're gonna wanna get one of these. Put that on. I usually tuck it behind, kinda like this. Go like this. Basically just 
get as much as you can off. And you're just gonna go around. Underside. Wipe off the excess. And, uh, you're done. Just attach them again. Bike is A1 now. With the brake pads, you're gonna wanna run them through, so you're gonna just gonna go like this. And just break them in. Hope you guys liked this uh, little installation video on, you know, the new brake cable and the new brake pads. I hope you learned some stuff about maintenance and uh, hope your bike is running smooth. You know, bike is all clean. I'm gonna take it for a ride. <sighs> Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. We are posting weekly. I'm trying to, you know, I came up with this video idea. Probably gonna do some more POV riding videos. Anyway, keep riding, keep grinding. It has been Jacob, or Auto Bike Life. We are out.